we have been going through really tough times. We've faced many hardships. We've been battling unfortunate events and unforeseen circumstances. But God says that he restores our soul. It's constantly being renewed by his power and by his grace. You know, the Bible even says that we are to grow, become progressive in the grace of God and in the knowledge of God. God bless you, Gunner. Welcome to the chat. Great to have you. What's going on, bro? Mary loves Christ. But back to my point, we are to grow more in the grace and the knowledge of God. Christianity, or so they call it Christianity, it's about progressing towards Christ, becoming more like God every single day. And in the first epistle of John, it says that as Christ was, so are we in this world. That's how we have to be. We have to walk in the Spirit. We have to be led by the Spirit. We have to be full of the Spirit. And I believe that that is a strong indication that we have been with the Lord. Because there are many Christians out in the world, but they are some mature. Some have issues with being discipled. But we are all one in Christ. We need to help and edify one another. So, for example, I wasn't always well put together. I wasn't always preaching. And in the Word, there were times where I would struggle extremely with porn. And I'd struggle with smoking weed. I'd struggle with all of these things. And I needed a strong brother in the Lord to sit me down and to disciple me and to teach me how to walk as Christ walked. Even when we look at Paul, he would say to the Galatians, he'd say, imitate my faith. Do as I do as I follow Christ. So I just want to say we really need to step up and it's progressive. It's not always going to be immediate and overnight. Actually, it's never that way, to be honest with you. We just have to put our trust in Jesus and we have to wait. The Bible says in Romans that if we hope for something, let us wait for it with patience. Most of us, we live in America, this platform, most of us live in America, and we're so used to having instant gratification. We have microwaves, we put our food in, a couple of seconds, pop it out, it's hot. We have Amazon Prime, the stuff that we want, it comes in a day. We have all of these things that just satisfy our flesh. So when it comes to serving God, who is spirit, we sometimes struggle because we're so used to living and walking in the flesh that we don't know how to perceive the things of the spirit and to walk in the things of the spirit. So God wants us to wait. He says in Isaiah, this is a verse that everyone loves to quote, but they don't love to apply to their lives. He says that when we wait upon him, he shall renew our strength and that we will mount up with wings as eagles. And when we run, we won't be weary. When we walk, we won't faint. I was just reading in Galatians today. Paul was telling the Galatians that they were running very well, but Jewish teachers hindered them and tried to put them under the law. They attempted to stop the race that they were running so well. And this is how it is in our lives. Today, we have the world, we have our flesh, we have Satan, and they all at once are trying to hinder us from running towards that high calling, that prize which is in heaven, Jesus Christ. They want us to stop running the race and they want us to fall back. They want us to shrink back. But what does a good runner do? So I, I never ran track, but I was always really fast. But a runner is someone that they take care of their body. They nurture their body. They go to sleep at a certain time. They eat certain foods. They're extremely strict. Even Paul was saying that that's how athletes are. They're extremely strict. They discipline themselves to win a prize a crown that's going to perish. But us Christians, we have to discipline ourselves so that we can receive a crown that's imperishable. You know, and one thing that I really love that Paul said is he said that he strikes his body with a blow and he makes it his slave. So he's not a slave to his fleshly and carnal desires. We all have the desires, every single one of us do. But we are not to become slaves of them. Christ set us free from the law of sin and the law of death. And I was just reading the book of Galatians. Paul, as he was inspired by God, he said, stand fast in the liberty that you have in Christ. And yes, 
in the context of the scripture, he was speaking to the Galatian church saying, don't go to these Jewish laws. Don't go back to the law of Moses. You've been set free. So stand firm against these false teachers and let them know that Christ has fulfilled the law and he has redeemed us from the curse of the law. But this is scripture interprets scripture. So when Paul was saying that he strikes his body with a blow, he makes it his slave. In Corinthians, he was telling the Corinthian church, he said, yo, you are not to be dominated by anything. Literally nothing. You're not supposed to be dominated by anything. We say, yes, all things are lawful for me. Yes, I can do this. I can do that because I have freedom and liberty in Christ. But he said, although we have freedom and liberty in Christ and we are to enjoy that, we are not to be brought under the power of anything. We're not to be in subjection to anything on planet Earth except for Christ. So um, I just wanted to talk about that for